Hey everyone, I'm Evan and this is Magnolias and Sunlight, the video portion of my blog magnoliasandsunlight.com. I'll put a link at the end of this video so you guys can go check out what's on the blog. I just had my one year blog birthday, I guess you can call it. So there's a lot to look at and a lot of these pop sugar boxes to go through. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to look through the April pop sugar box together. I already opened mine. I am jumping on the road right after this to head down to the Central Coast. So doing a little bit of pre-filming right now. I got a few teasers on this one before it came. Actually, I think just one teaser. Um, so I know one thing that's in this box and let's just dive in. So I'm really excited about the first product in this box and it is a little tea towel for your kitchen or I guess you could use it in a bathroom. Um, it's a flower sack tea towel so it kind of has that like rough linen texture and then it has lemon slices printed all over it which is really cool because my kitchen is kind of like lemon themed, kind I guess. Uh, I have a tray that sits in the little like coffee tea area. I already have a lemon tea towel hanging on the front of my oven so this is going to match perfectly with those. I also have a lemon candle that I like to burn in the kitchen because I think that scent works really well. Um, and this is a Noon Design Shop product. Um, it is made in America, and these towels are promised to be lint-free, absorb like a paper towel, and get better with every use. And they're silk screen with all of these little lemons all over them, so I think it's really adorable. Uh, I don't know how well the lemons are going to show up on the camera because they're kind of bright on the linen, but I love this. So sticking with the kitchen theme, the next thing in the box, which was teased earlier this month, is Cravings, Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. Um, I don't know much about Chrissy Teigen. I follow her on Twitter and I really enjoy reading her tweets, uh, but I was not aware that she liked to cook. So I'm always looking for a good cookbook. I've seen a few other YouTubers and bloggers talk about how much they like this book, and I was flipping through it and I saw, um, well, there's a butternut squash soup recipe, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, hopefully it doesn't, oh, it does have cream in it, so I will have to find a substitute for that. But it also has a uh, sriracha chicken salad in it, which looked really good. I think it was a sriracha Caesar salad. Um, and the only thing I'm like upset about with this book is that it came in and it's really like, it looks like it got wet at some point. So hopefully this will work on my shelf because it looks like it's opening on its own. Um, and I'm just kind of a book snob, so that kind of just drives me a little crazy. Um, OCD tendencies and all. But I am really excited to cook a few recipes out of this book and see how they go. So this box had a lot of like kitchen things in it because the other um, home product that was in it is this little salt and pepper shaker. So the salt shaker is down here. Um, so obviously you get one of each. And it was actually funny when I opened this, I saw the shadow of this, uh, it kind of has like a worn out part, I guess, where they didn't glaze the white over it. So it's supposed to look like it's kind of rustic, but I actually just thought that it was broken because of the shadow, and I was like, oh great, I got a product in this box that, despite being wrapped up in a bunch of bubble wrap and a box inside of the box with all of the confetti and stuff, it got cracked. But it didn't. It's supposed to look like that. Um, I think my favorite part is that they have these little corks in the bottom where you uh, refill them. So hopefully those will stay because otherwise that would be a kind of messy disaster. But I think these will be really cute for some summer parties, um, setting them out on the dining room table when we have people over for dinner. I have quite a few salt and pepper shakers. For some reason when I moved into this house, I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers and I got like 30 cheese boards. So I have those all stored away so I can switch these out with the ones that I have um, to match whatever decor, whatever party theme we have going. So I think these are really cute and I can't wait to fill them up. And the last kitchen-y thing uh, is actually a snack, which I'm going to put after this video directly into my travel bag. And they are dark chocolate espresso beans, all natural and gluten-free. Of course they are, they're espresso beans. Um, they kind of look like chocolate-covered raisins almost, or chocolate-covered almonds. Um, but I really like espresso beans, and I really like dark chocolate. So I'm excited these aren't milk chocolate, because I do prefer dark chocolate. Um, the health facts on the back aren't great, so eat these sparingly if you're trying to, you know, watch your waistline. But since I'll be uh, traveling the next couple of days, I always try and keep a few snacks in my bag so that I don't get hangry, and these are definitely going to go in there. 
especially in the like middle of the afternoon when I get like a chocolate craving, these are going to be great. And maybe I can save a few dollars at Starbucks because um, the espresso beans should have some caffeine in them. So I'm excited about these, like I said, this video I'm turning the camera off these are going straight into my travel bag so the next two things are beauty products um, I'm actually super excited about this one it's the pharmacy farm pharmacy um, sleep tight firming night balm um, with amnesia green envy um, activated by some kind of uh, ch chichoric acid, I probably butchered that. But it is free of parabens, free of formaldehyde, free of artificial coloring, and it's never tested on animals, naturally derived ingredients. I'm really excited about this because although it's silly, I am a little self-conscious about like my under eye area. When I smile, I feel like I get like wrinkles, but I think that's just the way my face is built. I don't actually think I have wrinkles there, but I would like to see if something like a firming night balm would help. I was at Kiehl's and I was looking at all of the eye creams and I currently use a Clinique um, like anti-aging eye cream uh, that I got as a freebie at Ulta and I really like it but I am definitely willing to give this a try. I'm always a little worried about um, testing new products like this because I do have very sensitive skin. So if any of you have sensitive skin, a great idea when testing products like this is to test them out on like the soft spot of your belly. Um, it's very similar to the skin on your face, it's very sensitive and uh, I have used that trick quite a few times with like makeup and um, moisturizers and sunscreens and things like that. I test them out like right below my rib cage to see if I get any um, breakouts. Obviously it's not as oily and you have different like things on your face and your face is out in the open a lot more like in the environment and you do have oils on your skin naturally occurring that protect you from that. So it's not a foolproof plan but it does help and it keeps you from breaking out all over your face because if you get itchy on your stomach from a product you're not gonna put it on your face. The packaging on this is also really pretty. Like I said, it's the Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. It has this really gorgeous wooden lid and comes in what looks like kind of like a porcelain um, pot. So it's kind of a funny, goopy color. Um, I definitely expected it to be like white and creamy and not this green like aloe vera balm look. Um, it's kind of, it, def it just feels like aloe vera. It smells like plants. So I am, like I said, very excited to see how this works. It does smell really good though, but it just, it smells like um, a garden candle, something really fresh, something very green. Obviously it is green, um, but I really like this packaging. It's gonna look super cute out on my vanity. And the next thing in my box, talking about beautiful packaging, is this Field Poppy Royal Apothic um, Hydrating Hand Cream. This box is beautiful. It's linen wrapped and um, I just love the print. Um, it has poppies all over it, it's super cute, and I'm always looking for a good hand cream. I work with a lot of like paper all day and my hands dry out really quickly, and I always have hand cream in my purse, and I always have hand cream on my desk. So I'm really excited about this one, I genuinely really like the smell of poppies. It is closed, but look how pretty this bottle is, and it also, which I think is kind of hilarious, but super helpful comes with a squeegee. So if you ever have used like these metal tubes of hand cream, I always feel like I'm leaving so much of it in the bottom. And so this, I guess, is here to kind of help squeeze all of the product out of the bottle. So you could totally use this for your toothpaste also, but I just think that is kind of adorable. And I want to open this. So let me open this and I will be right back. So the product is open and I'm going to test a little bit out because I haven't put anything on my hands yet this morning. The only thing about this is that it's really big so it's not going to be great for traveling or for my purse. But I love the packaging so like the other product I think this will just look great sitting on my vanity. It does smell super floral and actually I really like this scent. It kind of has like a tang to it but this is really, really nice. Um, it isn't super oily, it just kind of leaves your hands nice and soft. So the other thing in the box this month was a Bloom That $20 gift card. 
Um, Mother's Day is coming up, so I don't know if my mom watches my videos or not, but mom, you have some flowers coming your way. These look really pretty. I hope the arrangements actually look like this picture, but I'm definitely going to go check this out and send some flowers to my mama for Mother's Day. So that's what came in my Pop Sugar box this month. If you like this video or these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. Last month I did um, one of these videos and I also did um, a photo series of what came in my resort box. This necklace actually came in my last Pop Sugar box. So I will link those somewhere on the screen so you guys can go check those out. Um, I also am thinking about getting a FabFitFun box to look through with you guys. So if you would be interested in that, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love for you guys to follow along. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, and when I have enough content, sometimes on Sunday, I'm trying to get to uh, three videos a week. Uh, it just is a little time consuming. So we'll see how that goes, but I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you all again really soon. Love you lots, bye.